Something is accompanying the Interstellar Object 3i Atlas on its journey through our solar system. Officially, it's a simple comet, but the thing nobody tells you is that for a brief period, the world's largest radio telescope in China detected a series of structured, repeating radio bursts coming directly from it. It wasn't natural cosmic noise, it was ordered, almost like a complex Morse code. The trajectory of this object is very peculiar. Uh, it actually lies in the orbital plane of the planets around the Sun. Then the report was scrubbed and the official explanation became instrumental interference. But what if the interference wasn't in the telescope, but from something that doesn't want to be found? A signal in the static. In the misty karst mountains of southwest China lies a modern wonder of the world. It's a colossal metal dish nestled in a natural depression like a silver eye staring into the heavens. This is the 500 meter aperture spherical telescope or FAST. To put its size into perspective, you could fit 30 football fields inside its massive reflecting surface. It is, to put it mildly, the most sensitive radio telescope on Earth, a giant ear designed to catch the faintest whispers from the edge of the universe. For years, its main job has been to hunt for pulsars and listen for the mysterious, powerful flashes known as fast radio bursts. But on one cold, clear night, it heard something that was neither. It heard a pattern. You see, the universe is a noisy place. It's full of static, the hiss of ancient radiation, the rhythmic beat of spinning neutron stars, and the roar of distant galaxies. Astronomers spend their lives learning to ignore 99.9% .9 of this noise to find the signals that matter. But this was different. Deep within the terabytes of data, a signal emerged that was too orderly, too structured to be random. It was a series of weak but distinct pulses repeating in a complex sequence. The most shocking fact is that it wasn't coming from a distant galaxy or a known pulsar. The computers traced its origin to something much, much closer, a lonely traveler passing through our own cosmic backyard. The source was designated 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever confirmed to have entered our solar system. This immediately set off alarms. Interstellar objects are supposed to be chunks of rock and ice, debris from other star systems wandering the void for eons. They are cold, dead, and above all, silent. They don't have magnetospheres that generate radio waves. They don't have engines. They are not supposed to be broadcasting anything, let alone a signal that seemed to carry information. The initial hushed reports that leaked from the observatory were electrifying. For a moment, it seemed humanity was on the verge of the single greatest discovery in history. A structured signal, a potential message, was coming from an object that was not of our solar system. Then, just as quickly as it appeared, the story vanished. The official channels went silent, and the data was classified under national security protocols. You see, the new explanation, when it finally came, was sterile and dismissive. Localized radio frequency interference. A simple technical glitch, case closed. But many people are crazy about uncovering the truth and for those in the know, the radio astronomers and data analysts who saw the initial readings, that explanation didn't just feel wrong, it felt like an insult. The signal was too powerful, its trajectory too perfectly matched with the incoming path of 3I Atlas to be a random terrestrial signal. What many overlooked was that the interference wasn't random noise from a passing satellite or a faulty microwave oven. The thing nobody tells you is that true interference is messy, chaotic. This signal was the opposite. The pattern was clean, structured, and deeply mathematical. The pulses came in distinct clusters of long and short bursts, separated by perfectly uniform pauses. It repeated in a complex looping sequence that defied any natural explanation. It looked for all the world like a cosmic Morse code, a deliberate and intelligent transmission. So what did that giant ear in China really hear? A long dead rock was broadcasting a message across our solar system. Not of this system. To understand why this signal is so world altering, you first have to understand what 3I Atlas is or what it's supposed to be. For almost all of human history, we believed everything in our sky, from the planets to the comets, was born here in our own solar system. That all changed in 2017 with the discovery of Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar visitor. 
then came to I Borisov in 2019, and then our third guest arrived, 3I Atlas. These objects are cosmic ghosts, visitors that give us our only chance to touch something from another star system. The thing nobody tells you is that these interstellar travelers are incredibly hard to spot. They are usually small, dark, and moving unbelievably fast. 3I Atlas was detected hurtling through space at over 100,000 miles per hour, a speed that makes it impossible for it to be captured by our sun's gravity. It was on a one-way trip, destined to swing around the sun and then disappear back into the void, never to return. But from the moment it was spotted, something was off about it. Initial observations suggested it was a comet. As it got closer to the sun, astronomers expected it to develop a bright glowing coma and a long tail of gas and dust, just like any other comet. But 3I Atlas was being shy. It wasn't outgassing as much as it should have been. Its brightness fluctuated in ways that didn't match the models. And you can see this everywhere in the sparse data that was released. It was behaving strangely. Some astronomers quietly suggested that maybe it wasn't a comet at all, but a dense, rocky body, more like an asteroid. Others pointed out that its trajectory was just a little too perfect, a little too clean. The most shocking fact, however, is what happened when other telescopes tried to get a good look at it. Several observations reported that the object seemed to be tumbling in a weird, unnatural way. Not the gentle, chaotic tumble of a random piece of rock, but a more controlled, almost stable spin. What many overlooked was that this kind of stability is hard to achieve naturally. It often implies a specific distribution of mass, something you'd see in a manufactured object. Could 3I Atlas be something other than a rock? Could it be a probe, an ancient piece of alien technology disguised as a harmless comet to pass through star systems undetected? It sounds like science fiction, but the data was just weird enough to make even mainstream scientists uncomfortable. Then came the signal from the FAST telescope, and that discomfort turned into a silent global panic. The object wasn't just strange, it was broadcasting a coded signal, prime numbers from space. So what was in this supposed cosmic Morse code? The thing is, the full data was never released to the public. But bits and pieces have been leaked through anonymous sources and back channels in the astronomical community, and they paint a chilling picture. The signal was not a simple beep, beep, beep. It was an incredibly complex stream of information layered with mathematical intelligence. You see, when scientists search for extraterrestrial intelligence, they aren't looking for plain English. They're looking for the universal language, math. And the three-eye atlas signal was full of it. The pulses were reportedly organized around prime numbers, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Prime numbers are the building blocks of mathematics, and a signal based on them is a giant screaming sign of intelligence. No known natural phenomenon in the universe broadcasts in prime numbers. The signal also contained what some have described as a data block, a repeating segment of information that was far more complex. Inside this block, analysts reportedly found representations of the hydrogen atom's fundamental frequency. This is another classic calling card for SETI researchers. Hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, and its frequency is a constant, a universal measuring stick that any advanced civilization would understand. But it gets even stranger. One unconfirmed report claims the signal contained a representation of a double helix, the shape of a DNA molecule. If true, the implications are staggering. Was it a message telling us about their biology, or was it a map showing the basic structure of life itself? We simply don't know. What many overlooked in the frenzy was the sheer age of the object. 3I Atlas has likely been traveling for millions, if not hundreds of millions of years. This message isn't a live conversation, it's a time capsule, an automated beacon from a civilization that may no longer even exist still faithfully broadcasting its existence as it tumbles through the dark. This is why the official explanation of radio interference is so hard for many to swallow. Interference is random. It's messy. It doesn't encode prime numbers and atomic constants. To put it mildly, the official story feels like a hastily constructed wall to hide something that science can't explain. Why hide it? Perhaps because the message wasn't a friendly hello. What if it was a warning, or worse, a Trojan horse, 
a signal designed to be found carrying something we're not ready for. The message was clear. Something intelligent was out there, and it knew math. The day the Earth stood still. The moment the potential importance of the 3 I Atlas signal was understood, a silent planetary lockdown on information began. The thing nobody tells you is that there are protocols for this, shadowy plans agreed upon decades ago for what to do in the event of a confirmed first contact. These aren't science fiction. They are real classified directives buried deep within the national security apparatus of every major world power. And the first step is always the same control the information. You see, the initial leak from the FAST facility in China was a catastrophic mistake, an excited junior astronomer sharing a raw data plot on a secure but not secure enough internal server. Within hours, that leak was not just plugged, it was cauterized. The Chinese government, which oversees the massive 500-meter aperture spherical telescope, immediately invoked national security provisions classifying all data related to the object under a Level 1 Cosmic Threat designation, a classification so secret most of the scientific community doesn't even know it exists. The original astronomer and their team were reportedly relocated to a secure facility, their work continuing under the watchful eye of state intelligence. The official story became a malfunctioning sensor array producing phantom signals. And you can see this everywhere, not just in China. The response was too fast, too coordinated to be a coincidence. Within a day, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope abruptly canceled a long-planned observation of a distant galaxy, retasking its instruments for urgent solar flare monitoring. A flimsy excuse, given that Hubble isn't designed for that purpose. In Chile, the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope suddenly went offline for an unscheduled primary mirror cleaning. Amateur astronomers, the vigilant sentinels of the night sky, found themselves stonewalled. Their requests for observation time or access to public data archives concerning 3i Atlas were met with polite but firm denials, citing server maintenance or data corruption. The flow of information just stopped. It was a globally synchronized effort to point the world's most powerful eyes away from this mysterious visitor. What many overlooked is that this wasn't just a scientific decision, it was a geopolitical one, a move on a chessboard that spans the entire solar system. The discovery of an alien intelligence isn't like finding a new planet or a strange star, it's a revelation that would shatter the foundations of every religion, every economy, and our entire sense of place in the universe. The power to control that information is, without exaggeration, the greatest power on Earth. The nation that could decode that message first would have an unimaginable species-altering advantage. They could potentially gain access to technologies thousands, if not millions of years ahead of our own. From limitless clean energy to faster than light travel, or even the secrets to consciousness itself. The fear of global panic is the public reason they would give for the silence, should the secret ever get out. But the real reason is a new, silent Cold War. A frantic race to understand the message from 3i Atlas before anyone else. The most shocking fact is how incredibly effective the cover-up has been. The initial chatter was quickly relegated to the fringes of the internet, expertly drowned out by disinformation and dismissed as just another UFO conspiracy theory. For people watching this, wondering if something this massive could really be kept a secret, the thing is, it's easier than you think. All it takes is a handful of official-sounding denials from trusted scientific bodies like NASA and the ESA. A few Nobel laureates are trotted out to patiently explain to the media why the signals are undoubtedly of natural origin and the story dies. Meanwhile, any scientist who knows the truth is bound by national security oaths, their careers and even their freedom on the line if they speak out. The mystery of 3i Atlas becomes a ghost, a what-if story told in hushed tones, while the real work of decoding its message continues in secret, in deep underground bunkers from the Nevada desert to the mountains of Gizhou. Are we being protected from a truth we can't handle, or are we being denied the next step in our own evolution? So was 3i Atlas a messenger from another civilization, or just a freak of nature that science has yet to explain? The data remains hidden, leaving us with only questions. What do you think they're hiding?
Let us know below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more secrets from the void.